Hi, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can set up your Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra or the Plus or just the Galaxy S21 for the first time. So I'm going to press on the power button or the side button here to uh, power up the device. So press and hold. It should already have uh, some power coming out of the box. And at the bottom here is a SIM tray. So I'm just gonna push my pin in and remove the SIM tray. And if you haven't already done so, we can now insert the SIM. This is a nano SIM card. We have the metal facing upwards. And I'm gonna insert it into the phone. Then on the welcome screen, we're going to tap on the start button. Now at the top here, you can also choose your language. Then tap on OK. And then we're going to tap on the start button. OK, in here, I'm going to choose I have read and agree to all of the above. And then tap on next. Uh, now at this point, you can choose whether to connect to Wi-Fi or not. Uh, you might as well connect to Wi-Fi now. Now put in the Wi-Fi password and tap on the connect button. That will attempt to connect to your Wi-Fi router. And after that, once it is connected, we can tap on next. So tap on next. And say service provider setup. So your phone needs to restart. You set up features and services from your service provider. I'm going to tap on the restart button now. And we're just gonna wait for that to boot up. Okay, now the phone uh, boot up. So it's taking a while. And it's saying starting Android. So I say, do you want to copy apps and data? And we're gonna tap on next. So it's saying updating smart switch. So because we have uh, connected to the internet, uh, either via your uh, mobile data or Wi-Fi, it will download and install the smart switch. Now here we're going to choose to upgrade from Galaxy Android or iPhone or iPad. So you can choose one of the options. So if I choose from Android, tap on Agreed. And here we can set up uh, via using cable or wireless. Now if you don't want to uh, set up or transfer any data at the moment, we can go back. And then we can just say, don't copy. So for now, I'm gonna choose don't copy, just so we can uh, set up the device quickly to use. Now, if you have already got a uh, Google account, you can put your Google account here. You need to put your Google account in now or later on if you need to download apps. So might as well do it now if you got one. So here I'll put in my um, Gmail account and tap on next. Next, you need to put in the account password and then tap on next. After you have verified your account, I ask, do I want to add in uh, the phone number? I'm just gonna say skip. And then tap on I agree. And say getting your account info. And I'm just gonna go all the way down and tap on accept. Here you can uh, set up your security, such as your PIN or password or fingerprint. So choose one of the methods that you want to uh, protect your phone. So say PIN, we're gonna choose PIN. And then I can choose confirm PIN without tapping OK and tap on continued. You need to put in your PIN or password again. And so just a sec. And here 
it says see what's training with Google Assistant. So once your phone is set up, try this popular things you ask your assistant. So such as set a reminder, make a phone call or tell me a joke. Now tap on next. Okay, so at this point we can put in your Samsung account if you got one. Now if you don't have one, you can do it at a later point. You can also create an account right now as well if you wanted to. I'm going to choose skip for now. And I'm going to skip sign in. And say you're all set up. Tap on finished. And this is um, the home screen of your Galaxy S21. So I'm just going to cancel that. And that's it guys. So we have finally uh, managed to get to your home screen. And in here, um, it's still doing a lot of uh, setup on the background. So you can see here it's trying to set up uh, from Google Play Store, installing apps and applications that it pulled out from your from my account. So it will try to sync what I have uh, already signed in through Google account. If you sign in with your Samsung account, then it will try to sync uh, data such as uh, photos, uh, contacts and other things through your Samsung account as well. And that's it. So you can swipe down, go into settings. And uh, in your settings, you can also manage your device as well. So this is how you can uh, quickly set up your device uh, for the first time. Uh, once you're in, you can uh, go to Play Store to download apps. You can uh, uh, set up your phone ringtone. You can manage your user interface. Right here, you can manage your user interface. Uh, you can... Uh, so you can do a lot of other stuff, uh, connect to uh, Wi-Fi if you haven't done so. You can change the wallpaper. So you go into settings, wallpaper, and here you can change uh, different wallpaper if you wanted to. So my wallpaper uh, features, and you've got video wallpaper or just standard wallpaper. So you can set it for both home screen and lock screen. And you can see that is the new wallpaper we have ch just changed. Uh, let's see what else you can do. Uh, you can go into the settings in here. Tap on the settings. Uh, you can sign to your Samsung account if you haven't done so. Uh, you can go into connections and set up Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, uh, mobile network, and SIM card managers is where you can add in your eSIMs. That is your electronic SIMs if you wanted to. Uh, we can... Uh, set up VPN in there as well. Now in sounds and vibrations, you can set up your sound, you can set up your ringtone, you can set up your notification sound in here. And you got system sound, volume sound, uh, vibrations and vibrations uh, intensity. And uh, after that, then next is your notifications. You can go into your notification section and manage how your phone will notify you. So you can see in here, you can set uh, notifications to brief or detail notification. And then which apps is included in your notification list. Uh, if we get out of that, we go into display. In display, you can choose light mode or dark mode. So in here, you can choose the, one of the settings and then tap on Applied. Now, choosing this one here may also cause the screen to use more battery power. And then you can change the screen timeout. Uh, there are Easy Mode, if you want to turn on Easy Mode. So Easy Mode it will make uh, things bigger. And on your home screen, it will be more uh, of a simple view, uh, less clutter. So I'm just going to go back into Settings and uh, turn off. Uh, easy mode and back out here in display you got the edge panels uh, the edge panel is this one right here where you swipe out you can access a lot of um, widgets on the side uh, edge panels have a lot of functionalities you can go through them and see how you can use uh, the edge panels then you got uh, panels you can add uh, additional uh, functions features and apps onto your edge panel so I'm just going to go back here 
So you got uh, inside the edge panel, there is also a section called handle. Handle is this one right here where you can change the position, the color, transparency, and size of the handle. As you can see, if I drag it out, it will go bigger or smaller. So that's the handle right there. That's the edge panels. Then you go down a bit further, you can manage your navigation bar down at the bottom, whether you like to use buttons or swipe gestures and the button order. And then there's a lot of other functions as well. Accidental touch protection, touch uh, sensitivity, show charging information, and a screen saver. So this is, uh, can be turned on or off on the switch. Then if you move down, you've got wallpaper, themes, you can change, set the themes uh, for your device. Then you can also change your home screen layout, the grid type, and what uh, is to show on your home screen. So you can see down here. Okay, then you go down a little bit, you can change uh, your phone security system, whether you want to use face recognition for certain things, fingerprints, uh, biometrics settings, then you got Google Play Protect, uh, Find My Mobile, it is turned off uh, by default. Uh, once you sign to your Samsung account, you will be able to turn on Find My Mobile. This will protect and uh, will protect your mobile device. And then there's heaps of other functions: Samsung Pass, Secure Folder, where you can share, um, where you can uh, uh, keep your private information secure in the folder with a password. Then you got private share, blockchain, and other security settings. Okay, down here is your privacy settings. So you can, in here is a big section where you can control uh, what apps can access your device, such as body sensor, calendar, call logs, camera, uh, files and media, location, microphone, phone, and so on. There's just many, many settings in here that you can control uh, who and uh, which app can access uh, what on your phone. Okay, so let's see down here, we've got Samsung and Google um, features uh, in regards to your privacy. So you can go through the list here and have a look. Okay, next one is the location. So you've got location on your device. Location allow your phone to use uh, GPS. So uh, apps like Maps will uh, need to access to location. So you can turn them on or off. And then down here you've got Google's and account. We've got Google and accounts and backup. Then in advanced features, there are a lot of other settings such as link to Windows. So you can uh, connect your device to Windows computer and you can uh, transfer data. Uh, continue apps on other devices. Call and text on other devices. Samsung Dex. Also there is an S Pen feature which you can turn on or off. There is no S Pen included with your device. So you need to purchase them separately. And if you do purchase them separately, there is just nowhere to actually store them. So you have to bring it um, separate. So unlike your Galaxy Note, where there is a small slot where you can put your S Pen away, with this one, you can actually put it away. You need to uh, bring, bring them along as a separate uh, device. And you got Bixby routines. Uh, motions and gestures, one-headed mod, uh, screenshots and screen recorder is also in the advanced features functions. You got game launcher, video enhancer, Drew messenger, uh, SOS uh, features, and you got digital well-being and parental controls. You can go on here and set up. So I'm just gonna not going to go ahead with this one, and then batteries and device care. So in here you can find out information about your battery, uh, how much storage you have used up, uh, how much storage space is your device, uh, the memory usage, and how you can also uh, optimize uh, your device for best performance. And then you got uh, apps. In here you can manage how the apps uh, work. If you want to clear the cache, clear the data, or uninstall apps, you can go in here and this is where it will display all your apps on your device. Next down, you've got the general management. In here, this is where you change your phone language, text-to-speech, 
date and time. You can configure how your keyboards work or add in additional keyboard language, uh, keyboard list in default. Uh, this is uh, physical keyboard settings if you want to connect with a physical keyboard. And down here you also have the auto fill service. Uh, this will be used in conjunction with your Samsung Pass. So you can uh, fill in the have the phone automatically fill in uh, web forms, for example. And this is also where you can reset your device if you need to reset uh, network settings, accessibility settings, or reset all settings. Or you can uh, completely wipe your device by using the factory data reset. That is general management. And then you got accessibility. Accessibility is a huge section where you can um, change a lot of settings on your device, uh, such as talkback, visibility enhancements, hearing enhancement, interaction and dexterity, advanced settings, and install services. And down here is tips and user. And finally, the last uh, option in settings is about phone. Uh, this will give you information about your device, uh, which software is currently running on, what Android version it is, uh, what user interface it is. So at the moment it is One UI uh, version. And you can find out about your uh, build number. Uh, in here you can find out about the device serial number, ME number, and so on, and battery information. And that is just all the settings regarding to your device. There are other things that you can do, such as setting up emails uh, in your device. So you can go to Samsung uh, app. Uh, in apps, you can uh, set up emails. Uh, you can go to Google and set up Gmail if you use Gmail, uh, YouTube. Uh, some apps is not available, such as, um, say, Twitter. If Twitter is not uh, available in here, you can go to Play Store and install them. There is, like, Facebook is already installed. Uh, YouTube is already installed in here. Uh, anything that is not included, you can go to Play Store and download them. And so that's it. I uh, hope all the settings are not too overwhelm overwhelming. And there is lots and lots of features with the Galaxy S. Uh, 21, not to mention your cameras also packed with tons of features that you can use. Uh, they all really um, need to have a separate uh, videos, dedicated videos to show you the features of each of the functions in here. There are just lots and lots of functions for each of the app. And that's it guys, that's how you can set up your device uh, for the first time. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.